for QuickBooks Canada Pro desktop, we have the option to select uh, project class memo and as well decimal drift. Um, if these items are not selected, they don't show up in the data automation interface. And so what we want to do is we just want to be able to select those options, scroll down to the bottom, save. Once the item has been saved, we go to data automation. And the items will show up as fields to be able to be used. The decimal drift feature is selected. Sometimes there is an anomaly within uh, a vendor and the way QuickBooks calculates the tax. Sometimes it will round up, sometimes it will round down. So it's very possible that this particular invoice has an item that is 701 for tax, but it's possible that when it's extracted, uh, as 701 and we push it to QuickBooks that it will not show as 701 but it'll show in QuickBooks as $7. So we use the decimal drift as a way to be able to correct that. So if there's any issues in your documents where you're pushing to QuickBooks and the tax is incorrect, select the decimal drift and then save it.